In the UK, only the very wealthy can afford to have an uncompromisingly modern home. They typically have to hire an architect like myself to design and build a one-off house for themselves. Regular homeowners don't really have that option, and most volume home builders who make all our new homes, they don't tend to design uncompromisingly modern buildings. They'll tell you there's all sorts of reasons for that, but in other parts of the world, it seems to be the norm. And this is from the Hola Architect TikTok channel, and it's a house in Brazil. And it's about the size, even though it doesn't look it, it is actually about the size of your typical detached UK four bed house. And you can tell it is an uncompromisingly modern home, but it's not massive. It's not this enormous sort of luxury villa that we've been seeing in other videos on the channel. It has a fairly straightforward entrance. You just walk through a door and there's the stairs. I know that I don't like having a stairs next to the door, but I'll let them off the hook because it's not that big a house. It has an L-shaped open plan space. It's reasonably well proportioned. The kitchen could probably be a bit bigger, but you get the idea. This is not a millionaire's house. It's a regular middle-class house. And in the UK, okay, we probably wouldn't be doing a swimming pool because of the climate, but you can see it's, it's not enormous. Now it's described as being 233 square meters, and that's not actually correct, at least not by the way UK homes are measured. I think what they've done here is they've measured the area of the ground that the building is stood on and then just doubled it, because it seems to be about 10 meters by 11, give or take, and then they've just gone, you know, d twice that to get to 233. But in reality, that's probably from that corner there to this corner, and then from at the front, they're probably including that covered walkway over to here, and then that area of that balcony and the area of the balcony at the back as well in that calculation. In the UK, the Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors Standard Method of Measurement, that's a mouthful, will only measure the inner surface of the external wall. So balconies, covered areas, they don't count. Uh, that So this house is probably closer to maybe 140, 150 square meters by UK measurements, which would make it about the size of a four bed detached house that you would see in any out of town suburban development. Nothing particularly remarkable about the size of it, but look at the way it's been finished. Very nicely thought out design, L-shaped open plan, very nice usable uh, sheltered deck at the back, an intermediate space. Now, I've built these in Scotland and they really do work very well, but property developers in this country in the UK would, would not do this because they'll say, oh, you know, the planners won't let us or nobody would ever buy it or it wouldn't get a mortgage. They'll come out with a string of excuses, but I think it's just inertia. Nobody's actually done it. And I suspect if there is a brave go-getter of a house builder out there who wants to actually make a name for themselves, building rows of houses like this, would probably sell like hotcakes, I'm guessing, because it's no physically larger than the plots that they're already using, uh, and it's giving more or less the same standard of fit and finish. It's just very well laid out. There's no fuss. You come straight into the main event. That's a good idea. You're not going through a hallway or a vestibule, wasting space. It's got an L-shaped open plan. Pretty good. The kitchen could be a bit bigger, and they've got this really nice intermediate space. I have never seen a property developer anywhere in the UK propose to do anything like this. They are all highly conservative. They're living in fear of their lives, and as a result, every one of them produce more or less the same kind of house. Uh, and it gets kind of tedious after a while. I know it's controversial to suggest that homes don't have to look like something your granny would recognize, but we need to be able to show developers in the UK that it's another world is possible. You can actually make uncompromisingly modern homes and they will probably sell like hotcakes. Let me know what you think about that in the comments.